Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mio Adam Elias bin Shahnon IDA 2303002 Today our group will present about Self Assessment System or SAS Adam Sazli, a civil engineer employed at Lembaga Lebur Raya Malaysia in Putrajaya since November 2020 initially earned 3,800 ringgit per month in 2021 While working, he pursued a part-time master's degree in the same field at University Kebangsaan Malaysia (UKM), which he completed by the end of 2022. In September 2023, he accepted a new role as a team manager in the engineering department at Syarikat Perumahan Negara (SPN) in Kuala Lumpur, with a monthly salary of 6,500 ringgit. Since starting work. In 2020, Adam has never failed failed a tax return or paid any income tax. Income tax. He was recently surprised to receive a notice from the Inland Revenue Board (IRB) demanding penalties for not submit, submitting a BE return from under Section 77.1, Clause 1, of the Income Tax Act 1997. 1967 ITS 1967 Adam confused by the situation six your advice Assalamualaikum I'm Nurul Ahmad Labidi Hazaki ITA 2303007 I want to explain about question 1 Question 1 as a tax officer at the IRB and using all information from part 1 Explain to Adam Sazli the self-assessment system, including the responsibilities of taxpayer and employees. As a tax officer at the IRB, it is essential to clarify the self-assessment system and the responsibilities that come with it, particularly for taxpayer like Adam Sazli. The self-assessment system was introduced in Malaysia to simplify tax compliance and enhance taxpayer responsibility. Under the system, taxpayers are required to assess their own income tax obligation and file their tax return accordingly. As a taxpayer, Adam Sazli needs to first filling tax return. Adam is required to submit his PE return form annually, even if he believes he does not owe any tax. This includes reporting all sources of income. Second, maintaining record. It is important for Adam to keep the accurate record of his income and any deduction he may be eligible for. This document support his tax return and can be requested by the RIB during audit. Third, paying tax on time. If Adam calculates tax liability result in a payable amount, he must ensure that it is paid by the due date before avoid penalties. Next, understanding tax obligation. Adam should familiarize himself with the Income Tax Act 1967 and any update or changes that may affect his tax situation. Question 2. Provide a step-by-step guide on how he can comply with the SAS to resolve his current issue and avoid future penalties. Step 1. The return and assessment. Determine billing requirement. Adam must file a BE form if his annual income exceeds the taxable. For the years he worked, the annual income was thirty-four ringgit. Prepare documentation. Gather all necessary documents such as pay slip from Lembaga Lebaraya Malaysia and Syarikat Perumahan Negara, records of any additional income or deductions. Complete the tax return. Fill out the BE return using the e-filling system available on the IRB website MyTax. Ensure all income is accurately reported. Submit the tax return. File the complete BE form by the due date, usually April 30, for individual taxpayers to avoid late penalties. Assessment by IRB. After submission, IRB will assess Adam's tax return. He will receive an assessment notice indicating his tax liability. If the disagree disagrees with the assessment, he can appeal. Step 2. The amendment of tax. 1. Identify the need for amendment. 
Amendment are necessary if Adam realised he made errors in his submitted tax return such as underreported income and overclaim deduction or relief. 2. Prepare amendment return. Adam need to complete a new BE return form indicating the corrections. Clearly, clearly mark it as an amend, amended return. 3. Submit the amended return. File the amended return with the IRB. Ensure to include any supporting documentation that validate validates the change made. 4. Follow up. Keep the record of the amended return and any correspondence with the IRB regarding the amendment. Hi, I'm Nuri Afina Afimete Abdul Hadi, IDA 2303006. So, I want to present about step 3, the offences and penalties. For the common offences, it will be failure to file a return, Second, under-reporting income and lastly, failing to pay a tax win. And the penalties for the common offences, it will be late filling and the range is around 200 and 2000 ringgit. Next, we will discuss about step 4, the tax appeal. There have three steps. The first one is filing an appeal. If a taxpayer receives a notice of assessment and disagrees with it, they are allowed to make an appeal. The appeal must be made within 30 days from the day of the notice. The taxpayer has to write the appeal to the IRBM branch which issues the assessment. The taxpayer then required to fill in Q form and the appeal will be forwarded to the Special Commissioners of Income Tax. If taxpayer have a valid reason and require more than 30 days to file an appeal, taxpayer required to apply for an extension of time by using N form. The form is to be forwarded for decision by the Special Commissioners of Income Tax. So, to conclude the topic, we made three conclusions. The first one is ensuring compliance with Malaysian tax law in the future. The second one is important to maintain a current record and stay informed about filing the deadline to avoid penalties. And the second one is consulting with a tax professionals. So, that's all from us. Thank you.